Here are a few useful things to remember when writing HTML that will make your life a little bit easier. They're not all best practices, but uh, I thought you should know about them. BR is a break, it's a line break. If you wanna put a break within your text, if you just wanna press enter and go to the next line in your code, it doesn't mean the browser will render it that way. It actually ignores it. We call this white space. No, not this kind of white space. White space as in the same way that it ignores the space or the tab in the beginning of the line. The same way it will ignore your enter also. If you have to go to the next line, you could use a BR tag. We just talked about semantics and BR is not really good practice. Uh, you're better off using multiple uh, P tags, but say you had uh, an address tag, which is semantically correct and you wanted to go to the next line, you, you don't wanna use multiple address tags, you could use a BR to go to the next line. It is available. If you wanna emphasize on a part of your text, you can use EM tag. It italicizes the text between. I does the same thing, but use EM because it describes the intention or meaning or semantic behind your code as opposed to how it should look. You can always change the look later in CSS uh, and the same thing for strong tag if you want your text to be bold. Uh, you can also use B, but strong is preferred. Meaning is more important than look when it comes to picking your tags. Again, we talked a lot about semantics in the previous video, so if you haven't watched it, go check that out. HR will give you a horizontal line. I'm not sure what HR stands for. You can achieve the same thing using CSS borders and actually have more options there, but HR does exist if you need it. Alt attribute for image. Uh, this came up before when we did the Walter White uh, image. It will add a text underneath the image in case the image can't be loaded for whatever reason. Uh, slow internet, the image doesn't exist. This way the user at, will at least see what your intention was with that image or what it was supposed to render, even if your image doesn't load. Input tags have a lot of different kinds. You can specify what kind it is using a type attribute. Uh, type can be button, checkbox, uh, color, date, email, etc. You know how sometimes when you are typing on your phone, the keyboard that comes up for you to type in your email automatically has that at sign uh, in the bottom? That's because the guy or girl who made that page decided to put the input field type to be email. So thank you, guy or girl. Password will be hidden like this. I'm sure you've seen this before and so many other types. So uh, use the right type uh, so that the browser will help you create a better experience for the user and you don't have to do anything. You just have to add the type. Anyway, those were a few useful things you can use in HTML. Uh, there's so much more, but I figured, you know, I can just share uh, a couple of them in a few minutes. So that's it. Bye bye.